There's an exercise I do every day. This exercise actually helps you align with the vibration that you want. And I find it's a lot more effective for attracting and manifesting and simply changing and switching my mood and my state of being. I just remind myself of all the things I really love or that make me feel good and make sure that it's not related to external things. And I'd like you to try it out too and tell me how it feels. Hello, my dear friend, and welcome to another episode of Aikistis TV, where we go into Greek philosophy and how it can transform our life. I have a small favor to ask you, please hit that subscribe button. So many of you people are watching without being subscribers. This doesn't help my channel spread. Plus, when you subscribe, you'll get early notifications for any uploads that I do. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button now before we begin. Thank you so much. I love the feeling of creating something. I love the feeling of offering value to people. I love the feeling of receiving value from people. I love the feeling of connecting with others. I love the feeling of gratitude. I love the feeling of sharing with others. I love the feeling of simply eating healthy and feeling the vitality. I love the feeling of relaxing. I love the feeling of the overflow of love I feel with those around me. I love the feeling of inner peace. I love the feeling of being sexually aroused. I love the feeling of having dreams and chasing them. I love the feeling of being on a team. I love the feeling of integrity and telling the truth. I love the feeling of helping out. I love the feeling of being useful. I love the feeling of loving kindness. I love the feeling when I'm swimming in the sea. I love the feeling of blessedness. I love the feeling of the grace of God. I love the feeling of being tenacious. I love the feeling of feeling strong. I love the feeling of connecting with source energy. I love the feeling of simply being in a room with others and sending my love to them. I love the feeling of simply relaxing in my bed at night. I love the feeling of taking a shower. I love the feeling of going shopping sometime and buying myself anything, something symbolic just a little something for me. I love the feeling of having dreams. I love the feeling of meditation. I love the feeling of sharing my experiences with others. I love the feeling of making YouTube videos. I love the feeling of leading seminars. I love the feeling of being on stage to a large crowd and inspiring them with my words and my story. I love the feeling of learning new things. I love the feeling of going off on a journey without really knowing what the destination is or where I'm going, just meandering through the small streets of Athens. I love the feeling of feeling young, feeling vibrant. I love the feeling after eating a wonderful meal. I love the feeling of the wind against me, the sea breeze. I love the feeling of meeting new people. I'm extremely curious and I love discovering things about them. 
I love the feeling of walking through a historic city and just observing all the old buildings, traveling back into time and experiencing, imagining that I were there. I love the feeling of walking in a new city where everything is so modern. I simply love the feeling of admiring the architecture. I love the feeling of downloading a new app as it opens up worlds of possibilities for me. I love the feeling of watching some YouTube videos that are inspirational, like those of Jason Silva or um, Abraham Hicks or Stoicism. I love the feeling of being free, free of any dogma, free of any specific school of philosophy, because I simply love learning. I just love the feeling of going to a museum or a gallery and experiencing artworks that other people have done. I love the feeling of promoting something of my own and sharing it with others. I love the feeling of trying out new things. I love the feeling of inventing things. I love the feeling of using free design software like Canva to express my creativity. I love the feeling of asking AI some really strange questions and just waiting to see what it will answer. I love the feeling of hugging the people I love and hugging new friends. Just hugging in general. I'm big on hugging. I love the feeling of feeling gratitude. I love the feeling uh, when I'm disciplined and just do my workout uh, here, swimming or running uh, or doing yoga. I just love that feeling like I'm treating myself. I love the feeling of going for a facial or a beauty treatment. I love the feeling when people comment on my videos and I can respond to them and they're expressing their gratitude and I just love that feeling when they tell me how my videos have changed their life. I love the feeling of underwater swimming. Uh, I love the feeling of being around little kids and uh, playing with them and experiencing joy with them. I love the feeling of babies and just putting my cheek on their cheek, just that sense of cheek to cheek, uh, warmth and just smelling how beautiful that milky smell they have. Uh, I love the feeling of being with my husband and taking walks and taking vacations. I love the feeling of turning him on. I love the feeling of being in a mystical spiritual state that my logic tells me that it doesn't really exist and yet my intuition tells me uh, how I feel blessed and how I feel uh, you know, deeply connected with nature and with the divine. I love that feeling of communing with the divine as I see it. I love that feeling of lighting candles in churches because it's something I've always done since I was young. I love the feeling of trying on a new dress um, or a new hat uh, or a new gadget. I love that newness. I love the feeling of kind of redecorating, like painting the walls or changing the tapestry on couches and adding new decorative items. I love the feeling and smell of incense or room aromatizer in any way. I just love smells. And for that matter, I of course love the smell of roses, the smell of basilicum here that we have in Greece. I love the, the smell of all flowers, really, all flowers. I love the feeling of drinking lemon iced tea with ginger or spearmint. I love the feeling of trying out new tastes. And I love the feeling of going to a party. I love the feeling of belonging to a team. And I love just being in a state of gratitude.
So there are so many, so many, so many things that I love. And the more I talk about how I love them and I'm loving that feeling, the more it actually connects me with these things and the more it attracts more of them because I feel comfortable in these places. Now, you might have noticed that I didn't put any things that are out of reach of most people, financially speaking. They're all things that are affordable or that are free, absolutely free. So when you make your list of the things you love, uh, just try to make them as free as possible less dependent on your actual income. For example, you might like uh, I do sometimes, I go to tea uh, or coffee at the beautiful old hotel we have here in in my city in Athens. Um, It's called the Grand Bretagne. So for example, even if you can't afford to stay over uh, at the night Uh, at a luxury hotel, surely you can go have a tea or a coffee there. And that's a feeling you can connect with. And you, you know, you just tell yourself, I love the feeling of going having coffee at so-and-so hotel. And that's wonderful because that will align you with a world that you want, whatever that may be. In my case, it's, it's a beautiful hotels. In your case, it could be some kind of travel. You know, there's many ways of connecting and aligning. I find that this exercise works a little better than uh, prayer because in praying, uh, as I was saying in the introductory video, sometimes when we pray, we actually push away what we want because we are in a state of neediness. We're like, oh, please, I wish I had, or I pray that, you know, God gives me X, Y, Z. But when you do it like that, there's uh, the vibration of neediness. Other people profess gratitude, you know, saying, I am grateful, I am grateful for my friends, I am grateful for my health, I am grateful for the roof over my head, I am grateful. That's the the way of manifestation of the secret. Uh, Definitely that works, but um, sometimes I feel that, you know, people, they don't have too much, if you like, or at least they cannot see for themselves what they could be grateful for. So this is like an alternative to feeling grateful because a lot of you are jaded, you know, some of you are uh, cynical and have been through difficulties. So you're like, oh, I don't really feel that grateful. I don't want to be grateful. It's, it's too, you know, woo woo. It's too, you know, warm and fuzzy for me. But whoever you may be, you have situations and emotions and states that you love and that can cost next to nothing. So this is what this exercise is about, connecting you with those things you love. And you'll see that as you're doing that, interestingly enough, your whole experience, your whole vibe changes into love, openness, wealth, abundance, health, well-being. It'll just change your whole vibration. This is what we're after, because if you haven't done, if you do this exercise and you don't feel yet the vibration of happiness, then, you know, you have to just keep doing it, keep repeating it, keep going over it. And you'll see eventually it will start generating. It's like a dynamo. Uh, It will start generating of its own a positive mental state. Even now that I've read it to you, I have felt that. It's, uh, it's, it's been, uh, I feel uplifted, I feel strong, I feel powerful, I feel vital. So that's the exercise, my dear friends. Uh, please go ahead, try it out, and tell me what your experience is. I love you very much, and uh, I want you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. It will really help Algistis TV with the algorithm, and so it can reach more people who uh, really, really need it. So please help out by subscribing. At the same time, I want you to go to my website and pick up a free exercise from my book, From Fear to Freedom. 
You're really going to love this exercise. It is life changing. And if you haven't already, go ahead and do that now. It's agastis.net. And you will find a free download exercise. That's all, my dear friends, for now. I'll see you next week again soon. Keep writing your comments, keep sharing your love, and sharing my videos with your friends. Try it out and tell me how it goes for you. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure you have subscribed to this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Alkistis TV.